I know garden snakes are okay, but not when I have lots of them around. I'm stepping on them. How about that? They are in my flower pots and they are scaring my guests. How can I get garden snakes to leave? And this is Dory from West Jefferson, North Carolina. Okay. So. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you think, Jason? We'll start with you first on yeah, that. I don't, it's odd to have a lot of garden yeah, snakes. Yeah, a lot. I mean, one or two, on but, uh, so obviously they're there because there's food. And if it's a yes. garden snake, yes. I'm assuming she's talking about a little grass snake. I didn't really maybe say. A garden but, snake, maybe. You know, yeah. if it's if the small little snake, you know, it's eating grasshoppers and crickets and, you yeah. know, insects. If it's a bigger snake, you know, it's probably eating mice and voles, which mm -hmm. you don't want. Which you uh, don't want. Possibly frogs, toads. Right. Uh, so it kind of depends. You know, the food source is, I guess, the first thing you got to sure. address. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and how to and how to mm -hmm. uh, reduce that food source. So right. let's good do point. some rodent con so rodent good. control. Let's do some some things of that nature. Right. So there's a food source there for the snakes, is what we're right. getting Absolutely. at. Right. Um, let's uh, again, uh, like mowing lower, right? Yeah. Like okay. reducing yeah. hiding right. places. Okay. Kind of. Uh, picking up a little, you know, my garden is a, a real like free flowing type mm -hmm, kind of garden. Mm -hmm. So like I just have stuff everywhere, but um, reducing those hiding places would be a, um, a big one as far as lowering that, um, that prey habitat. Because right. That's good. That's what well, the, we mentioned before the show, but there are, there are um, products that you can oh, put yeah, out yeah. that supposedly yeah, keep repellents, repellents oh, yeah. away. Yeah. And they do work somewhat, but you have to reply them repeatedly, right. especially right. after a rain. Right. So exactly right. keep, Good point. keep that in mind. Um, you got to over and over and over. Mm -hmm. But perhaps maybe if you scare them away the first time, <laughs> I don't know, maybe send them over to the neighbors. <laughs> Follow their friends. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the neighbors are coming over there scaring the guests, <laughs> yeah. so I don't know about that. But uh, mm. yeah, so yeah, culturally, yeah, reduce oh, the rodent population. And then, like, if, if they want to trap them, using those big oh, sticky okay. pads yeah, is those, a really yeah, good uh, boards and things like yes, that. Yeah. solution. And then, of course, once they catch them, if they want to oh. re-release somewhere else, you know, humanely. I, had, <laughs> I did not know this, but I found out that you can uh, uh -huh. add vegetable, vegetable oil to the trap and it dissolves the glue. And so then they yeah. can slither Release off them somewhere else. on their cool. happy way. All right. Mm -hmm. How about that? Especially if you have those beneficial snakes that are out there. On the note of catching and releasing, you should always follow your local ordinances yes. and guidelines yes. for your yes. state, your county. That's right. Uh, because every place has their own. That's right. Uh, you know, here in Tennessee, you're not to remove an animal off your own property unless it's That's by right. a trained professional. That is good. So there you have it, Dory. Appreciate the question. Good luck to you, all right? <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoy it. To subscribe, click below.